And what kind of engine do you have it's on it? It's got there? the 239 flathead V8 in it. Really? Can we see it? Yeah. Oh, cool. It's got a Columbia two speed, Columbia two speed rear end in it and three speed transmission. And it's just stock. So it's really not a resto rod, it's, a, it's basically a restoration it just, driver. It, it just. Now it's, it's filthy, but it's you that's know. that's okay. We're called junkyards and barn finds for a reason. You know, I don't, <laughs> it's not a show car. It's you. No, it's, it's a, your. It's a, it's a fun car, right? Yeah. And then is now is that just the shell yeah. of an oil based uh, yeah. filter? So you have the paper in there now, it just, but it has the appearance. It has the appearance. Otherwise, it's just going to leak yeah. oil everywhere. But it leaks yeah. enough oil as it is. Man, look at that flathead. That is cool. That that's. That's yeah. really cool. Hey guys, uh, it's December down here in Southwest Florida and we are at yet another uh, drive-in car show. It's not really a car show. It's not really a drive-in. It's just a bunch of people that come and park in the mornings. And uh, we're gonna look at some of the older stuff that showed up. So first thing we wanna do is look at this Woody. This is a gorgeous Woody. How y'all doing? Good. So, tell me a little bit about your car, if you don't mind. I'm Sean. I'm with Junkyards and Barn Finds. So, welcome to another episode of Junkyards and Barn Finds with Sean, and I'm Sean. Woody. Okay. Uh, and how long have you had the car? Uh, we built it uh, probably about five years ago. So someplace in there, two years to build it. Um, it's got a 5.0 in it, Ford uh, Mustang uh, Heights front end on it, nine-inch Ford rear end. What gears does it run? What? What are the gears in the in, that you're running in it? Uh, it's probably a 350 in the rear. Um, it's got an ALO. L transmission. Uh, it's got uh, uh, interior. I mean, it's um, they quit making them during the war, right? And uh, so it's a rear car. And, and did uh, you redo all the wood and all everything? All the wood's new. It's okay. all new. Everything is new on the car. Okay. And, uh, I bought a car originally out of Virginia. And, uh, so when you bought it, was did it have like the what? What was it? What's the condition? All of it? the wood was laying in the car. Okay, that's what so it was, was basically a frame with, with, right. that's with what it was. wood in it, and yeah. then you guys just yeah. rebuilt the whole thing. We uh, eliminated all the bolts on the outside. This is not a 32. What the hell are you doing over here? <laughs> eliminated all the bolts out of it. But this is actually wood, so yeah, we're we're not talking head. laminated or anything no, else. No, so it's, it's got wood. the frame rails on the inside and everything, yeah. and the soft. And this is just a soft fabric roof that goes over the wood that's in there. Yeah, yeah it's okay. got padding underneath there. So it's built the way it, it originally was. Right. Yes. If you look up inside, you'll see all the wood up in there. So we can look in there. Yeah. The wood. Okay. And the dashboard, other than uh, the gauges, are a newer gauge. Yeah, they're but, new. We customize a lot of that stuff. But it still has the, the, the look of the retro. Right. So, so you didn't change the design or the look of it. Customized a little bit, cut the ashtrays out, just like that. Who did the woodwork? Because it is just the woodwork was done up in Door County, Wisconsin. A boat builder did it. Because it is just, I mean, it is just beautiful. It is. He's done a couple cars for me. And I mean, I'll, I'll tell you what, it's wood, but if you were up close, guys, if, if any of the viewers are up close, I mean, this thing must have, I don't know how many coats. 14 coats. 14 coats, because yeah, it yeah. is just amazing. Yeah. It looks like glass. Yeah, it's, got, it's, it's got a strong UV in it. Uh, and uh, but every three coats, we sanded it down and then shot it again, and then three coats and then sanded it down. So, you know, and that was all hanging up when we did the wood, because we got the same amount of wood. Right. Spray on the back side as we do have in the front side. Well, it is, it is really, I mean, I've seen a couple, but I mean, this one here, especially the woodwork on this, just makes it stand out. I think that's like the, 
you, you look at some of them and and you'll see gaps in wood or you'll see right, like yeah. faults but this thing here when when you see it even up close it looks really like perfect it i'm, I'm wondering if this i mean i'm obviously i yeah. wasn't around the day but yeah, yeah. this is probably what it would look like on a showroom back in the day i mean well, well were, actually you had you said there was there'd be screw heads or something right yeah, there's there's bolts that go through you know and, and uh, right you know what happened is that the, they eventually got uh moisture around them and they turned black around the thing you know and that's what you know and that's how they would originally have been built yeah, right we just bought the ball we just bought them in from the back side oh uh, okay and all the seats all this and it's all bird's eye maple on the back side of the doors so yeah, even the inside then is is yeah, this bird's eye maple. This is regular maple on the outside, and this okay. is bird's eye maple. Wow. And then the, we've got pockets behind all the seats. I love this rear seat here. So, yeah, that's you can walk through to your back seat. Oh. But, uh, now, what what are the what the original? If you even know what the original Woodies did they come with like a leather seating, or did they come uh, more probably with cloth? Or you're not sure? No, it wouldn't have been cloth. It was leather. It was leather. So would it? It could have. The, so this has got the appearance of right. What it's it got the looked. pleats in it where they were smooth originally. Okay. You know, and uh, it's got uh, batteries hidden underneath it. Uh, we have a. There's tool trays. The tool trays underneath here. Okay. That's where you put the tools. And so it's basically a modern car so it could be a resto mod if you it's thought of it, it that way it's a resto mod it's but resto -mod. It, but instead of doing a resto mod where something like that sled that's over there or mm -hmm. with the new wheels right. it basically looks like the has the classic look to it yeah. it just runs like it's like a brand new vehicle right. using yeah. technology from right. today right it's a, it's a, a brand new you know chassis brand new underneath in the, in the wood and we lowered the car and you know just to get it what we wanted and i wanted to keep it an old look so I put the white the white walls on it and hubcaps and stuff like that. Bet you get a lot of looks yeah. driving down, especially oh, do. down you here do. at the beach. Yeah. <laughs> and this uh, this uh, foot ornament is uh, it's a kangaroo from Australia. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can it's see. It's a kangaroo it. from Australia. Very rare. Now, would that, uh, that is that just a period piece? No. It's uh, when I went to buy the car. And when, it, when he always sent me pictures of the car, and it always had the ornaments sitting on it. When I went to buy the car, he said it didn't go with it. And I said, well, the car was a little rougher than I wanted. And I said, well, if it don't go with it, I don't want the car. So you see, I got it. Yeah. Well, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. I'll yeah. open the hood for if, you. If, if uh, yeah, if, uh, if he didn't want to put it with the car, he shouldn't have showed it in the picture. Yeah, well, <laughs> I'm glad. No, I, 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 I liked it that, uh, you know, like I say, it's a kangaroo from Australia. It was on one car. And, uh, oh, yeah, there you go. It's a five volt fuel injected. So that's what's in it. So there you go. Modern, and so yeah. this is as dependable and modern as anything right. you buy off a lot today. It's got heat in there. Now, this vent, that would have popped up originally right this this the There's door there the yeah so but you with with the, the air and everything you have it's obviously i, I still use it oh, i mean and it's electric too and it goes, oh okay it goes up electric. was it always an electric no, one or it would have been before it would have been a manual right, cable or right, something right, right? Right, right okay hey what's going on how you doing jeff so. yeah you know it's manual so well i mean just look how wide like and how integrated that is like that is yeah, just this is all we dropped the radiator down seven inches and then this is all custom made uh just a lot of stuff you don't know all the inner panels been made uh firewalls all new firewall bitching firewall a lot of seamless integration in what you guys did so when you look at it it doesn't look like you've actually it doesn't look like it's not the way it should come it's, i mean obviously the engine would be you would say hey that's not from the the time period but all this other stuff, yeah. it just makes a nice, super clean, really right. pretty car. Right. And we, uh, I didn't want a lot of chrome, so I, we painted different colors on the engine to right. go with the car. So. Yeah, because you, I, well, I, obviously you put the, what, like the tan color almost, right. it comes in with the wood, right. so right. kind of. That's what we did. Yeah. yeah. So. Well, it's just, a, it's just a sweet car. Thank nice. you so much for showing it nice. to us. And what was your first name? Jim. Jim? All right, Jim. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Okay, thank you. So. Huh? Take pictures of the bugs on the front? Nah. <laughs>
So is this yours? Yeah. Hey, I'm Sean. How you doing? With Junkyards and Barn Finds. We're a YouTube channel. Good. So, want to tell me a little bit about your car? 48 oh, Ford. There you go. I've had it for 21 years. Okay, 21. So you're a long time owner. Yeah. Let's say it's decorated for Christmas, or is that just how you always have it? No, there? it's got Christmas. I went to Ave Maria for the Christmas parade the other night. Oh, okay. So oh. I taped some lights up there and so, did that. So tell me a little bit about it. Is it stock? Is it what's what's? Did it, you build it? Did you buy it? It's stock. I built it. I I bought this car, brought it home on Father's Day in 2000. And it was just a cowl and a frame and the floorboards and everything else the guy had taken off it. So no wood or anything? It was there. It was just all in pieces. It was pieces. just in pieces like everybody. Seems like everybody who gets these cars, they they take them apart. Somebody takes them apart, then they don't know how to put them together and then they sell them. Well they run out of time and money. Right. And Skill. <laughs> yeah, you know, for for Pat, his he bought a sailboat. That was his first downfall that killed the car. Right. And then the kids went to college, and so and then he built a house by the Yacht Harbor. And so just I ran out of toy money for yeah, time. Yeah, I, I bought the bought this car in Santa Cruz, California, and built it there. And I okay, and I brought it here three years ago. So you did all the? Did you do all the woodwork? I did all. I did all the work. Okay, wow. So. Uh, so what type of wood is it? How long did it take you to do it? All that kind of stuff. Taking about four years of after after work and weekends to finish this car. And Have you ever worked on one before? No. So I mean other cars. But I not, mean the not wood, wood stuff, wood. like. No. So that was like a new experience. Yeah, and I had a friend that had a little cabinet shop in his garage on the street behind me, and so he helped me with some stuff that needed finger joints put in it and stuff. You right. Know, and, but it's. Well, it worked. It's still it works. Good. It's still holding together. <laughs> now, has it got? Uh, it's like the wood frames with the roof underneath and everything. Yeah. Okay. It's, so it's so it's actually built the way back the way it was made. It's just like it was. It's basically stock. Other night, it's got dual exhaust and headers and 12 volt system. And what kind of engine do you have? It's on got there? the 239 flathead V8 in it. Really? Can we see it? Yeah. Cool. Uh, Columbia two-speed, Columbia two-speed rear end in it, and three-speed transmission. And it's just stock. So it's really not a resto rod. It's a, it's basically a restoration it's just, driver. It's just yeah. now it's, it's filthy, but it's you that's know. that's okay. We're called junkyards and barn finds for a reason. Yeah, you know, I don't, <laughs> it's not a show car. It's you. No, just, it's, it's a, your. It's a, it's a fun car, right? Yeah. And then is now is that just the shell of an oil-based uh, yeah. filter? So you have the paper in there now, just, but it has the appearance. It has the appearance. Otherwise, it's just gonna leak yeah. oil everywhere. But it leaks enough oil as it is. Man, look at that flathead. That is cool. That that's that's yeah. really cool. I mean, it's, sometimes it's cool people have brand new ones in, like that one, yeah. and then it's really cool well, when you have something that works. That's like beautiful. That's what I said. It's they're both they're both. In their I own like, separate ways, awesome. I like the, I like the car to look old. I like the old wood and right. stuff, you know. And I used everything I could, you know, of the old wood, and then just replaced what I had. Yeah, to. like I said, it's like two different. That's the resto mod version of, that would right. would the best of the new world, and then this is just a old. classic, cool. I mean, the cool factor on the it's classic. It's a 60, is, is 65 mile an hour car. Yeah, but it's exactly out. what it was made for. Right. And it's got the pirate flag, and anything with a pirate flag has to be cool. It's, it's, I, I keep putting those on because they blow apart after a while. Before. Yeah, I don't. They blow apart, or somebody steal them when you leave when you go in the store. Yeah. <laughs> and I got the wiener schnitzel guy on there. He's been on there since 2006. Wow. I took it off my my Ford Explorer. It, it got rear-ended on Highway 80 oh. by Sacramento, and, and totaled him. I saved him and put him on this car in Santa Cruz, and. We had a place in Truckee, right. so we are back and forth, and my older daughter lived in Reno. Okay. So I did hot August nights for like 15 years. I love all the all the stickers. That is like so I like tried, woody. Yeah, I tried to find local Santa Cruz ones, but I was looking for water transfer ones. Yeah. So like, this is water transfer from right. O'Neill. The old O'Neill boards. Fantastic. And this, 
Now, this is work that you did for... I, well, this is an original piece. So oh, okay, so you didn't have to... I didn't have to do that one, but this is a new piece. Now, the, the varnish on I guess I'm calling it varnish. It's varnish. I don't know. Is it varnish? Do you have to re-varnish this I, car? I, I, I re-varnished it in COVID. Okay, everybody yeah. did the COVID car thing where yeah, you were stuck so home and had nothing else well, to do. It and was like 15 years, and I finally I I sanded it because stuff was starting to let loose, and I sanded stuff and mm. and just took a brush and revarnished it with Captain Scar. But the the first part lasted 15 years. Yeah. Or? Okay. So you got another 15 years. Yeah. yeah. So there you go. It's not perfect, you know. I love the glass slides in the back. Is that how they all are? Yeah, all these are. Yeah. Okay. So. And this got the three seats in there. Three too. seats. Okay. It's got the. Other than the Christmas. Christmas stuff everywhere, but you know. Wow, and it's okay. got the it's got the pass through walk through thing like everybody else. That's okay. Don't worry. Don't leave her. No, no, I need my hat. Oh, okay. Yeah, you'll need it today. It's getting hot. I put a hat on, man. I had a one. It's so cool, like no matter, because of these being wood, every time we see one and we put them, if you put them next to each other, nobody's is the same. No, not at all. And that is, it, whether it's the interior wood, the exterior wood, how somebody screws things in or bolts things in or whatever, um, everybody does, there's different. And I think that is the coolest thing. These cars are so individual cars. It's I would do, I'd do Woody's on the wharf there in Santa Cruz. Right. There's 200 Woody's there. And after about 30 minutes, you're tired of looking at wooden cars. True. You know, you like looking at 32 Fords all day, you know? <laughs> yeah. But, and then there was the gentleman that, there was a gentleman that's uh, well known. I think he's up in New York or Connecticut. And he was making a lot of these Woody's and his shop burned down uh, about a year ago. Really? Yeah. He had all the molds for all the everything, like all the, or not molds, but the forms for the wood. And he was really well known. And uh, Haggerty used to use him to get, make sure people had original things and all his forms, everything got burned up. He was gone. Got a call from a fire department saying your shop is on fire. And yeah, Nick Alexander in California, he sold all his stuff off, watching all his cars off on his and I guess he shut down the shop because he was stuff beautiful cars. Yeah. California. And you did surf, so the reason there's surfboards up there are that you know how to surf. Now, I do know they're how decorative, to surf. but. Yeah, these are old, the 60s boards. So tell me, you you found the car. How did you find the car? And tell me a story so about So, what the car. happened is, is a friend of mine who was a sheriff, a uh, Capitola Police Department. In California. In California. And he told me his, his sergeant there at the station had a Woody in his garage and he was thinking about selling it so he gave me his number and I I called him and left a message and and it was sitting in his garage for 10 years all apart I didn't know that I thought maybe he had the motor out of it and right just, you know a couple little things but it was all apart so he calls me up finally and says eh, well I said I got to clean the garage out a little bit then I can come over and, and I came over and looked at it and yeah, I'll take it. And it was just all the wooden pieces. It's just a pile of wood <laughs> and two engines and two or three transmissions and front axles, rear ends. I mean, just duplicate extra seats and you're like, I got a hammer and a screwdriver and yeah, he was he was <laughs> he took it all apart and was buying pieces to put it back together and he bought all the running gear out of a '46 convertible. Oh, and sweet. that's the motor I put back in it, and I've got the stock, the original motor sitting in my garage here. Wow. So it's, if it, this one goes bad, I still got one, another one to put back in it. And the story for all these is, I found it and it was in pieces and had to be put together. That seems like that's, the story of every is. Woody anybody ever had. And is. that's how I like to buy cars because, <laughs> you know, I'm retired from a body shop. Okay. So it's, you know. It's the only way I can buy one and not be buried in it money-wise. 
is for time, you. Time time wise is a whole different story, but you know. Yeah. And now it's made its way from coast to coast, and yeah. So coast, now. I, well. It, it gets driven. I probably drove it 100 miles yesterday. Just around Naples and stuff. You know, yeah, and Aaron this is too. not this is not a pro mod. So the engine in it is a it's flathead. A flathead V8, three-speed transmission, Columbia two-speed rear end in it. So period correct. And it, it it's a 60 to 65 mile an hour car on a highway. Now are those are those radial tires or no, two those plies? Are, those are bias ply tires. There you go. It actually drove better with these on it than with the radials I had on it. Okay. Because I think the sidewalls were too soft and it, it let that car squirm all well, over. Plus, that thing, those things got to be heavy. It's, it's like almost, almost 4,000 pounds. Or... And they got way more room in them than like a modern SUV. So Yeah, I don't know. If you get a Suburban or something, or well, a big Ford. One. You and I are about, I'm at least, I'm 6'1, you're at least that tall. Yeah. So for big guys sitting in the back seat of this, you got plenty of headroom. You got, yeah, there's a lot of headroom. There's. Yeah. And there's plenty of room. Which is weird because back in the 40s, the short. average height was like five foot six. So it would be like a whole bunch of little kids riding in it. I guess you could put a <laughs> stack of full of more stuff. Yeah. You know? That's why they're station wagons, you know, that run from people from the train station yeah. to their vacation spots. The original there. SUV right there. Yeah. So, well, like I said, I appreciate it so much. Thank you so much. Have a great holiday. You Thanks for talking to our guys. If you like these kind of things, and I know you guys do, please um, hit subscribe, hit the bell, and uh, just uh, let me know in the comments that you enjoy the enjoy the cars. Thanks. Talk to you in a little while, guys. April, should they subscribe to this channel even if they don't like cars today for this one? Probably just for this one.